Okay guys, a quick video here to make a $5 floating fish holder. I like it a lot better than a stringer. When you do this, you use this, you put your fish in here. They're not restricted by the stringer going through their gill or under their lip. They'll stay alive a lot longer. So at the end of the day, when you go to process your fish, they'll still be alive and fresh. This was five bucks. I bought the four components for a buck twenty-five at the Dollar Tree. So let's get going and put this thing. Here's in. the four components we'll be using: a pool noodle, a clothes net for your dirty clothes, some line, and some zip ties. Now this step is not absolutely necessary, but I like that it makes the ends of the pool noodle match up a little better. So on the inside of the curve of the pool noodle, you'll just want to cut part of an, a pie shape out of it. Thicker on one side, thinner on the other. That way the two ends of, of this will match up better. Okay, now we'll take that piece of PVC, stick it in one end of our pool noodle, and join the ends. And because I poked or drilled holes into PVC on the inside, I'll locate those holes with a bamboo skewer so I know where to be poking my zip ties through, and we'll connect this thing together and then attach the net. Okay, I have my zip ties through the pool noodle to the center of the PVC. Okay, we have this closed bag netting and I will attach that to the pool noodle and I'll be right back. Okay, now that we have the two starting zip ties through that will hold the PVC and the pool noodle together, you'll just need to go around Stick your zip ties around and tighten it up. And then later we'll add a string. Cut the ends off of your zip ties. Make sure not to cover, cut your, your bag. So we'll need about six to eight foot of this line. Cut it, and there's plenty more to make several of these for friends and family, and then we will tie our string to our, to our bag so that it doesn't get away from us. Okay, quick and simple. You get to put it through your net. Tie a good knot in it. And here you have a new floating fish holder. 